Oh, how did this get up? It is. It's a pain in perfection. And that one. What the hell? That one. There's one right here. See, these are things that you're only gonna see in the sun. Lines on the hood, on the fender. Oh, how did this get up? It is. It's a pain in perfection. And that one. What the hell? That one. There's one right here. See, these are things that you're only gonna see in the sun. One's right here, one's right there. Here. This one looks like dust fell on it, like before they put the gloss coat. I think that's what it is. But still, this one's. This panel gap is pretty wide. Let's go and see if we're right. Pain and perfections. If you're gonna take delivery of your Tesla, make sure you do it during the daytime when it's sunny because like these little paint imperfections, I didn't notice them yesterday. But then in the sun, they're pretty noticeable. I wouldn't be happy about it, but then again, <clears throat> it is a car and it's a wear and tear type of vehicle. But then again, if a customer is paying thousands and thousands of dollars, it's kind of unacceptable. I never noticed this car had a projector in it. Is that stock? So it has EV, sub EVA protection, but not EVP. You can't even see it. In order to wrap this, they said that they would have to take off these emblems and the customer would have to reorder them so that they could be put on on top of the wrap, which is an inconvenience, but it is what it is, right? It would be interesting if Tesla just had an option of do you want the emblems on the car or do you not? And if you were going to get it wrapped on, maybe they could just package these not on the car. Also, when picking up this vehicle, it didn't have key cards in it. So make sure you guys check to see if your new Tesla has key cards. cars right off the lot type of thing every single one of them was crap it was yes. wild it's, I mean, it is underneath that hatch area whereas the ledge has like people don't see it yeah you know what i mean because yeah. there's not you're not looking under there because it's like it's like an angle like it's like this quarter but this whole quarter is crap it's like the whole yeah. thing my, the my rear window on the old one it was the worst thing it cracked from the inside it honestly double it's double paint yeah. glass so it was the inside that was cracked yep outside. Yeah, so it's hard to tell when customers are like, we've had a removed film before where the customer like, you cracked our glass. I'm like, trust yeah. me, we didn't crack your glass. You can't feel it. Yeah. It's in between your glass. And then we'd have to remove the film that we did to show them, like, yeah. hey, this is not a yeah. install problem. This is literally crazy? in between. And sometimes, like, when you get your windows tinted, it's darker, right? Yeah. So a lot of times you see more imperfection because now there's a flat, like, or a darker, like, background. So things kind of pop. Yeah. A little bit more. So, yeah. yeah. 55 on the front windshield, mm -hmm. and then 35 on your top glass. Gotcha. We're also doing a full body uh, expel. And that's the same thing I'm doing 
the back. Yeah, so 35 on the sunroof and 35 on the rear. So essentially the top glass to radiant. said you have fully self-driving until April so four months so I put the plastic back on um, and put this oh but check this out so this one is actually you can hide the cups and then you push this way to close which is cool uh, the lighter is this way because it's so hard to find on the mo the 2019 model. It's hard to find. Is it on the same location? No, it's um, it's over here where you can't see it. Oh, <laughs> so that's why everybody thinks they don't have one. Uh, oh, look! Looks like there's a charging port right there. What kind of charging port is it? I don't know. A Type C. Mm -hmm. um, charge from under here. So it's nice. And of course this one has the rear the TVs on it. You can see it. So I measured this this morning. It looks like um Do you know what you wanted? It's outside. Oh it's outside. Um I measured this for the um for the what you call it? And this is half an inch, I think, larger than the last one. Half inch. No. Yeah, half an inch larger. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if it's going to fit or if I'll still even need it. <laughs> These buttons look a lot better than the 2019. The windows are faster. One touch down, one touch up. I like these body I used to go to this garage back in the days, check him out. He's pretty honest as a person. Labor rates were pretty good. I, I liked his work. It's called Friendly Auto, it's in San Jose. 